Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M, and today we're gonna to go through primer application on this damaged quarter panel. Before we get started, you always wanna wear the appropriate personal protective equipment for the job. Since we'll be painting today, I'll be wearing a full paint suit along with shoe covers, safety glasses and gloves, and the respirator I'll be wearing today is called a papper. Now, this video is intended for a professional audience such as a body shop or a restoration shop. So if you have any questions about safety or warranty, you can find that in the description below. Now let's get this car inside. As you can see, we had a damaged quarter panel where we're doing our repair. And where there was a dent, we applied some filler and blocked that out to 320. Surrounding that, we also used a DA to prep with 600 near the repair, followed by 800 further out, because we don't want any shiny paint as we're gonna be applying this primer. And today we chose to do an etch primer, followed by a urethane primer surfacer. We find that's pretty common in most production shops. If you have the time, epoxy primer will also work. Now, as we apply this etch primer, you wanna make sure you cover all of your bare metal that's exposed, including any burn throughs such as what we have below on this body line. However, you don't wanna over apply it near the filler because that can cause some problems. So next we'll show you how to set up the spray gun for that etch primer application. So we've got the spray gun dialed in for the job. What I was doing on the paper is dialing that fan knob in as I went across because I wanted to bring that pattern down in size. So I arrived at about a quarter turnout on the fan knob and I kept it at about 10 PSI of air pressure. However, I'm really feathering that trigger as I apply it because I don't want to over apply it on the panel. I've got it set up for the larger area of the repair where we have more of the bare metal. However, I will dial it in and close off that fan entirely to get it, get it as small as possible as I do the little burn through areas on the body lines as well. Now that we're done with the application of that etch primer, you can see we switched over to our urethane primer surfacer. And we did that pretty quick uh, just a minute ago, but uh, we had a 1.3 fluid tip on our etch primer. Now we're using a 1.6 on the primer surfacer. I also forgot to mention that before and after sanding, you're gonna wanna clean the panel with a waterborne and solvent-borne cleaner, uh, which we had done prior to shooting the video. And also while we're waiting for this material to flash, we can talk a little bit about the masking. So you can see in the leading edge of the quarter panel, we've got it back taped and we have it taped pretty tight up to that edge. And we did that same thing here in the wheel arch as well as down where the quarter meets the bumper. And the reason you want it taped up close to that edge is because we're gonna be applying some primer to it and you don't want that primer to travel too far around the edge because the next couple layers of coating need to cover that as well as it saves you some time in sanding. Now on the back edge of the quarter, we rolled the tape over and that's called back masking. And the reason we did that is if we happen to apply that, that surfacer close to that tape, it'll create a nice soft edge for us which saves some time in sanding. All right, let's get the gun set up for the application of primer surfacer. We've got the spray gun dialed in now for the primer surfacer application, and I arrived at about two turns on the fan, just under 10 PSI on the air pressure, and I did dial in that fluid knob a little bit so I didn't get too heavy in the application. Now as I apply it, I'm gonna make a large area first. I'm gonna cover the entire repair with a light application, still trying to keep a wet edge, edge to edge as I went over the repair. However, you wanna make it as minimal overspray around the repair area as possible. Now the next subsequent applications, I can put it on a little bit heavier, but I'll keep it contained within what I applied in that first coat. Now that we've finished up our three coat application of our primer surfacer, we're gonna allow that to cure for the manufacturer recommendation, and then we'll begin blocking to get the surface level. Once the surface is level, we'll refine those scratches 
to what's recommended for the next coating to be applied, which in our case will be a sealer, and they recommend 400 grit. We may go even finer in the surrounding areas as well. That's all there is for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to comment, share, or subscribe, as well as check out the in the description there is a link to additional 3M Collision Repair Academy videos. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time.